There are seven seals. On the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Glory be to you, our God. Praise be to the Creator, the Lord of the worlds. Glorified be the Most Mighty. He is high above the associations they make. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. On the opening of the seventh seal, there will be silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. The Great Spirit will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and will restore their lands. He is Yahweh, Allah, the Most High. For those who believe in the good deeds, their Lord guides them in their faith. Rivers will flow beneath them in the gardens of bliss. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. So far I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not harp on you all day, constantly. That's a human, impersonating God, on the astral plane but it's really a human who's going to cause you damage. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practice genocide against Jews, Muslims, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane, stay in God's word. The scriptures say, deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight.